hello everyone in this video we are going to make this cool motion graphics with animation nodes in blender so it is completely procedural so you can create different looks just by changing the few parameters of the modifiers and the animation nodes so let's get start so let's first delete this cube and we need a base plane and then i'm going to subdivide this plane using subdivision modifiers change this to simple so now we can see the uh, in the wireframe the polygons of this plane so then i'm going to use the decimate modifier to create different size of triangular polygons okay something like this so now we have this uh, base plane so now we going to offset each polygons of this plane uh, with the animation nodes so let's disable this wireframe then we need a mesh input node and then we need the a polygon offset node connect this and last we need the mesh output node okay let's hide this plane okay now we have this target plane and in the mesh object input node enable this use modifier option then this node going to evaluate the modifiers of this uh, plane object and if we disable this uh, plane object in the rendering then this node doesn't evaluate these modifiers so to hide this uh, plane from the camera view disable this uh, use world space option and move this plane away from the camera view so now i'm going to add uh, the shade smooth node so in this case i'm going to offset uh, the rotation of these individual polygons with the uh, with the fall off so for the fall off i'm going to use the noise fall off noise fall off and then we going to offset uh, this z axis to get this animation type info note then we need a math note and last we need a combine vector node so multiply this time to control the speed then to the z axis and connect this to the offset okay so select these okay so now we have this uh, simple animation to these uh, polygons let we increase the frequency now we have the animations to this uh, these polygons based on this noise fall off so if you want to sync uh, the animation of these polygons with the soundtrack then you can use uh, the sound fall off for that okay now to the target object i'm going to add the solidify modifier to add uh, the thickness uh, to these polygons and then i'm going to use uh, the bevel modifier so we need a very small amount of bevel maybe even smaller than 0.005 Okay, let's keep this three 
for the moment in the final rendering i used uh, 5 so now we have these uh, polygons now we are going to set up the camera and material for this so let's first add the environment texture and the, for the environment i am going to use the hdr image from the poly heaven so i'm going to use this interior hdr image now we're going to uh, set up the camera let's change the focal length of this camera to 32 okay so in the end panel we're going to first enable this camera to view and i'm going to place this object close to this uh, window to get this nice reflections on the on these polygons okay so now let's apply the material to these uh, polygons so for the material i'm going to use the pbr material add-on uh, which is a free add-on you can download from this 3dwolf.com and it has dielectric materials as well as metal materials and textures so it is really nice add-on so for the material we are going to use the plastic material connect this to the surface change the color to black and I'm going to decrease the roughness and apply the clear coat now let's go back to this camera setup okay so let's add uh, the depth of field to this so let's add the empty scale this down and move this to somewhere add the rule of third axis so something like this and the depth of field select that empty and i'm going to use 0.5 depth of field okay okay now i'm going to add the point light Change the color of the slide to yellowish orange and increase the power to 250. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera. okay this looks nice to me so let's increase uh, the segments okay perfect so if you change uh, this offset to percentage and decrease the segments you can easily create different look for these polygons okay you have completely different look for this and if we decrease uh, the ratio of this decimate modifier for this base plane we get bigger uh, polygons and you can easily use the same setup for other types of uh, polygons like if you have enabled the extra mesh add-on and then you get these extra mesh objects and in the extra you can find this honeycomb polygons that you can use uh, for this as well so this is it for this tutorial if you like this work then you can support me on my patreon page and download the all finished project files and other assets so thank you for watching until next time happy nodding bye